Hey friends, uh, coming to you Saturday, May 8th from Laura's studio. My name is Laura Bond. Today I wanted to share how to get started in a watercolor journal. Uh, different from a watercolor sketchbook, a watercolor journal would simply include the journaling aspect, the narrative that goes with your photos that you make into a watercolors or of course, you could work from life. Now, since I am making some a memorabilia journal, uh, I have gone back to illustrate previous trips and also areas around my home with a little narrative so that I have these lovely keepsakes I'm creating because so much is online now. We have photos, online, everything. So I wanted to illustrate in um, a watercolor journal. So without further ado, let me switch cameras and give you a close up of what I'm working on. Okay, so if you want to start a watercolor journal from photos from a trip, you simply find photos that are simple. And, um, well, maybe this one is not a good example, but I have been painting a long time. So, but what is simple here? Um, I found this, we went to Port Leguet in Spain, to Dolly's house. But this shape here, you look for big shapes, dark, and lights. Uh, so this is really a couple big shapes. The water might seem a little complicated, but look for something that you are comfortable painting, because these are just little sketches of your trip and the details of the trip. And sometimes I write a story about it, like this one. Um, from this scene, this was a photo I took in, um, let's see, in Cadiquez. Cadiquez, however you say that. Cadique, maybe it is. This one, I tried some watercolor spray, so I had a little mistake on that one, but it's still okay. These are wonderful memories for me. This is a personal watercolor journal. And if you get like a um, one of these micron pens or any black permanent pen that won't bleed. Of course, I hear the Uniball works. I, actually, I wait till the watercolor dries. I do a little pencil sketch, um, looking for simple scenes of my trip, and this says Spain 2017, and this time I wrote on the, the drawing and the painting because I had a lot of negative space. So this was just a charming little town. I loved this picture. I decided I really enjoy having a border. I didn't do a border on this one. This is just one of the apartment buildings in Barcelona. Um, I'll try to go quicker to get more in. So the border has like a nice look, room for writing. I also use the back of the previous page to write on since I don't want two watercolors. It'll get too, um, the page will get too wrinkled. And this one was just one point perspective, a little sea scene. Um, I try to keep it loose, so when I go back with the ink, I, I do the ink outline a little wobbly intent, with an intention of just staying loose. This one I really enjoyed also. Look for high, high contrast in your photos with good lights and darks. And again, something with some simple shapes. The water being a simple shape, the land mass. I also use a white gel pen sometimes to illustrate. So the pen, if I, I like looking at watercolor journals on Pinterest and they have, um, the more illustrative ones have ink. It just keeps it easier for me. So this one is a little cartoon-like, but it's um, from a photo of, you know, watching flamenco dance in Madrid. So after this, I'm going to start documenting another trip and I have plenty of room. So I'm sort of going in order. I started with 2017 and being a teacher, I, 
an art teacher also. I haven't had that much time, but in the summer I'm going to work on it more. Please time up. And this one is just from, I started another one. This one is at home, you know, during lockdown. I wrote Tiny Porch Life, did a little um, illustration of flowers last spring, and our sweet cat who died. You just do these little personal journals. This is the, our house from the backyard. That was really fun. Um, <laughs> Whatever you want, like I was learning bass guitar during lockdown, it was fun. Uh, also, we got a camper, a used camper, home away from home. So again, borders work, um, titles, no titles, any way you want to do it. Just go on Pinterest, look at um, some of those wonderful watercolor journal illustrations. Here's one that I did actually yesterday. My husband found this um, bird bath on the side of the road and fixed it up. And this is the part I think I enjoy most of this because I tried to get really loose with the flowers and leave a lot of white space in the front and not get too dark. Um, I practice watercolors. I've got stacks of cheap paper I've been practicing on. Do that first before you attempt this. I probably, oh, I have stacks, stacks. Um, if you're already a watercolorist, this is fun to start your own travel or at-home watercolor journal. Okay, so any questions or comments, please click like and subscribe, and I will try to start posting more. <laughs> Thank you.